Hey guys, Terry here. I wanted to show you how I'm storing my um, Cricut vinyl and iron-on and stuff like that. So I have the IKEA um, Calyx unit. This is the end of the cabinet here. And um, I just have one of the old style boxes, the old cardboard boxes that they have and I love that size because you can fit hanging folders so I have hanging folders that has um, samples of vinyl in and then I have in the back of the box um, I recently got the Cricut uh, the new little joy where the um, smart vinyl and smart um, iron-on is on um, these little rolls that go into the machine so you don't need a um, mat. So I've got a few of those boxes. I like these because they're um, samples of different colors. They come in a multi-pack. Um, but those are in little boxes. Those are new to the mix. So I just kind of have them um, loaded in here um, but yeah I have um, all my vinyls um, I have some of the um, foil for the quill pens and then I also have um, some of that stuff for the um, the mink machine this was the mink stuff Heidi Swap's mink machine so you could kind of foil on stuff so it's a mismatch. What's this? Oh, some iron on heat transfer sheets. Um, I also at one point had bought, um, I bought packs of the non Cricut. Um, a lot of these are Cricut, but I had bought some vinyl that was the inexpensive iron on, and I need to play with that. I was going to compare that iron on to the Cricut iron-on because if the cheaper stuff works I mean it was like a tenth the cost so if those work better then I'm all for it so I do like the IKEA boxes I can put a lot in here I can see what I have I just have these boxes like this and then it fits into the um, cabinet here so that's what I've got those supplies in. And then as far as the tools and stuff, I have this plastic case. And this is handy for um, just the cords and the tools, the markers. Um, this is the quill pen that I talked about. Um, we Are Memory Keepers makes this. Um, it has an attachment for each different cutting machine. Um, other blades, cords, tools, pens. The new Joy pens are a little bit different size than the old um, Cricut pens and markers. Which is a shame, but I do understand why they changed it. I mean, the, the unit is smaller and um, the blade and the markers are just smaller. But yeah, I've got the tools. I did notice the other day that these pens, one of these pens is leaking. Notice the red and everything on here. So, I don't know if I should have kept them in their original storage. At least I put them in a plastic bag. So, um, this is the um, Silhouette pens, and this one is the Cricut markers pens and markers so something's leaking in there I'm glad I had it in a plastic bag but yeah this little toolbox is nice um, I also use this style of box for the Kiwi uh, Kiwi Lane templates um, it's just a nice size and then it fits in one of my cabinets on the other side of the room so I use that for my tools and I use these hanging baskets for the um, vinyl and stuff it works really well so I hope that is a good tip for how to store this stuff you can put your scraps down in here you can fold the big pieces up 
Um, you can quickly see what colors you have. So I think it works good, and I like that it's all just in one spot. It's not terribly um, taking up a lot of space. Um, I see some people put it in that Ikea trash bag and put the rolls on that. Um, hi, Gingy. And, um, you know, that's a good idea, too. I just don't have the wall space, so I do have the cabinet for this. So, Gingy, come and say hi. Gingy, you come and say hi. Say hi. <laughs> okay, good girl. <laughs> All right, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks.